Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to generate the ROC curve in decision tree in NINE. So a decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression task. It splits the data into subsets based on the features of the data set and creates a tree-like structure of decisions to predict a target variable. It is a tree-like model that is constructed by recursively splitting the data set into smaller and smaller subsets based on the most significant features that discriminate between the different classes or the values of the target variable. After running the decision learning algorithm, the next thing is we have to classify or rather we have to generate the accuracy score. Now what is this accuracy score? It is based on confusion matrix. Let's try to understand this. Say for example, we are having a person who is having a COVID or a normal, COVID normal, and we are having a kit to detect that the person is having COVID or not. So this is kit, the prediction, and this is the actual data that is a person. So if a person is having a COVID and the kit detected it, that yes, this person is having a COVID, it means that this is a success of the kit and it is considered that the kit is better. Similarly, if a person is normal and if, if the kit also detects that yes, the person is normal, this is also a success for us and therefore it means that the kit is working properly. So 50 plus 114, so 164 cases are such in which kit is working successfully. Now let's talk about this part. A person is normal but the kit detects that he or she is having a COVID. So six cases are mis misclassified. Similarly. A person is having a COVID, that is uh, 22 are such cases, and a person is having a COVID, but the kit detects that a person is normal. So 22 plus 6 are misclassified cases. So the accuracy score will be generated on the basis of 50 plus 114. Moreover, the ROC curve will also be generated on this, this basis only. So accuracy is perhaps the most intuitive performance measure. It is simply the ratio of correctly predicted observations. Let us take a very small example here to understand how we calculate the classification score, accuracy classification score. So the true positive, it means that the kit has correctly classified that the person is having COVID or not true positive. So it is 2894. Similarly, a kit has correctly classified that the person is ha not having the COVID. So 11750, so true negative. So we want the more and more green cells rather than misclassified cases this, which are in pink cells. So our accuracy score will be 2894 plus 11750 that is 14644 divided by the total number that is a summation of all these fours. So it gives me 0.899. So in 90% cases, the classification is correct. The accuracy of the test depends on how well the test separates the group being tested in those with and without the disease in the question. Accuracy is measured by the area under the ROC curve. Now, area of 0.5 represents a worthless test. It means that the nature's probability is 50-50%. So if you are making a model, whose classification accuracy is less than 50%, there is no worth in making a model. And therefore, what we want, we want a, such a model whose classification accuracy is more than the nature's probability. So if we say 0 0.9 to 1, it is excellent. 0 0.8 to 0 0.90, it's good. 0 0.70 to 0 0.80, fair. 0 0.60 to 0.70, poor. And 0 0.50 to 0.60, fail. The model is failing. Then we generate the ROC curve. On the basis of this, so a receiving operating characteristics curve is a graphical representation of the performance of the binary classifying classifier system, such as logistic regression, as its discrimination threshold is varied. The ROC curve plots the true positive rates against the false positive rates at various threshold settings. Since, since to compare two different models, it is often convenient to have a single metric rather than several ones. We compute two metrics from the confusion matrix, which we will later combine into one. The resulting curve is a ROC curve and the metric we consider is a AOC of, the, of this curve, which we call AU ROC, that is an area under the receiving operating characteristics curve. 
Daros equal shows how well a model can distinguish between the two classes by varying the probability threshold for predicting the positive class. Sensitivity is a proportion of classified positive instances among all positive instances and specificity is the proportion of co correctly classified negative instances among all negative instances. So we have to do a trade-off between sensitivity and the specificity. ROC curve illustrates the trade-off between the sensitivity and specificity. A classifier that randomly guesses the class would result in a diagonal line from the bottom left to the top right. So let me show you that if the ideal curve is uh, which goes from in true positive rate, it overlaps completely this y-axis, so this one, and in false positive rate, it overlaps x-axis. That is an ideal curve which we want. That is the 100% classification. Now, this is a diagonal line. It means that this is a nature's probability of 50-50%, right? Now, let us try to understand again. A perfect classifier would have a ROC curve that goes straight up the y-axis and then straight across the x-axis. AOC is a measure of the overall performance of the classifier which ranges from 0.5 to 1. The higher the AOC, the better is the classifier at distinguishing between two classes. The ROC curve can help determine the optimum threshold for making the predictions based on classifier is good, that is maximizing sensitivity, specificity or accuracy. The chosen threshold will depend on the cost and benefits associated with different classification outcomes. So you can see we are having two models, the blue one and the red one. The red one model is better uh, in classification, but at this places, you can see the blue model is better. So it gives a threshold where which model is to be used. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in nine. So first of all, I'll activate input output and then I'll activate the CSV reader from here. Then I'll double click on it so that I can browse the data set which is in CSV format. Part 1 is our data set. Press OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and let's see the file table. Now let's see this data set. It consists of age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, maximum hours of exercise, exercise angina, old pain, straight slope, and the heart disease. So our target variable is heart disease, which we will, uh, the classification will be done on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, maximum hours of exercise, and cholesterol. So let us activate the column filter from here. So a specific variables are only selected. Column filter. Right click on it and configure. Remove all the variables and include one by one. Age. Then we will include resting blood pressure. Then we will include the cholesterol. Then we will include the maximum hours of exercise. And then we will include the heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see the filtered table. So you can see now we are only focusing on those variables which will be used for building up the decision tree. Activate the color manager from here. The color manager is necessary because all the nodes will be generated on the basis of these colors. So a color manager. Right click on it and configure. So our target variable is a heart disease and red color indicates that yes, a person is having a heart disease. No, that is a green color is indicated for a person not having a heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now I will do the partitioning of the data set where I will divide the data into 80, 20. Configure, stratified sampling, make this as 80%, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the first partition. Now the data set has been divided into 80%, the first partition. 
So this data set will be used for decision tree learner. You can see here what red color indicates and what green color indicates. Red is for yes and green is for no. Now I'll activate the decision tree learner from here. Right click on it, configure. So our class column is hard disks, quality measure is skinny index, no pruning. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the decision tree view. How to do the interpretation of the decision tree? I have already explained in my previous video. Kindly refer it. Okay, so the model is ready. Now I will activate the decision tree predictor from here. So let's connect this. So remaining 20% data set will be used for the prediction purpose. Right click on it, configure. Click here and click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classified data. So the prediction has been done for remaining 20% of the data set. So you can see here that this is the actual heart disease and this is a prediction done by the decision tree learner. Now how well the classification is being done that will uh, that will be judged on the basis of classification accuracy. So let's activate the scorer from here. I have already explained you what is classification accuracy. Double click on it. Right click on it. Configure. Take here the heart disease and here the prediction of the heart disease. Click OK. Right click and execute. Now right click on it. The confusion matrix can be generated from here also and from here also. I insist that you generate it from here because it will give you the classification accuracy. So we are having a classification accuracy of 92%. Quite good. Correctly classified cases is 677. Wrong classified is 57. That is a misclassification which is being done. I already explained you what is misclassification. Let's see again. This one. So a person is having a COVID and the kit detected it. So this is correct classification. A person is normal and the kit detected, yes, the person is normal. So these are all correctly classified. And these two are misclassified, wrong classified cases. So how many such cases are there? We can see here that we are having 32 plus 25, 57 wrong classified cases. Uh, Again, go back and you can generate the same thing from here also, the confusion matrix. And the accuracy statistics can be generated from here. So it is 92.2 percentage. Now we will generate the ROC curve. So let's go here and activate the ROC curve. Double click on it. Uh, you will have to disconnect it from here. Disconnect it from here. Configure prediction that is a heart disease. Press yes, remove all of them and include prediction heart disease. Make sure this is yes and this is uh, the probability is also taken as yes. Then only it will be able to generate the ROC curve. Still, it's showing cross, no need to worry. Right click on it and configure. Go in general plot options and make sure that you tick create image at port. Now the tick is gone, that is, the cross is gone. Execute. Wait for some time. Again, right click on it and see the image. You can see quite good classification is being done, 0.969. So the model is working very nice. Again, right click on it and you can see the area under the top. Now let's check that it's working uh, best for yes. What about no? So I'll make this as no and I will insert the no that is a person is not having a heart disease. Click OK. OK. Execute. Again, click on it and see the image. 
So you can see it works well for no also. So the model is good. Now what is the interpretation of this classification accuracy? An AOC value of 0.969 in an ROC curve indicates that the decision tree has a high level of discriminative power and distinguishing between the positive and negative class. An AOC of 0.969 suggests that the model has some ability, that's a very good ability to correctly classify positive instances as positive and negative instances as negative. So I have changed it. A AOC of 0.96 suggests that the model has a very good ability to correctly classify positive instances as positive and negative instances as negative. In other words, the model predictions are better than the random chance. But there may be some misclassifications or overlap between the two classes. So this was all about ROC. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.